Okay, we have this pendant. Oh, this one says KJL. This is a Kenneth J. Lane pendant. Really? Ooh, this one is really cool and it's really old. Look at this. That has some good height to it. It has a box clasp. That does not say anything, but we are definitely selling this one. This one is old and really, really neat. Really neat. Oh, oh, okay, you guys. Look, I've not had a Cinnabar piece like this. Look at it. Look at this. It is a seed bead Cinnabar piece. Okay, I think someone is really going to like this. This is, this is fun. Wow. Okay, these are Irwin Pearl. Oh, and they are marked P-E-P -E and Irwin Pearl. Look at these. So beautiful. All right, you guys, we are back with part two and we have so much more jewelry to get through. So let's uh, get into this. If you guys don't know, I'm, I bought a bunch of jewelry from a neighbor. We're going through the whole lot. Um, you guys got a little peek last time in part one of the video, but this is a great video for you guys to learn some sellable vintage pieces. Even modern pieces are in here. Um, and I'm excited to go through this with you and to find some treasures. And I'm getting excited about a lot of pieces. Oh, just this one. Look at this. This is a Carol Lee. You guys remember this beautiful? And then even like look through the back. Okay, and then we had those West Germany clip-ons. We had we had Christian Dior. We had Signer. We had Joan. R we this is oh, this is so wonderful, <laughs> and it was great to be able to buy from my neighbor. So, yeah, we ha still have a bunch more to go through. So grab yourself something to snack on. Grab yourself a delicious drink. I still have my coconut Lacroix. And let's get right into this. Okay. So ooh, we have this Lucite bangle and it has fun things in it. So it's like glitter. I don't know if this is super vintage, but it is super fun. I think someone would really like this. I don't really like selling bangles. Okay, this one fits me. Um, I don't like selling bangles that often, but this one's kind of fun and I like the colors. Okay, so, and it's bigger, so that's nice. I see a safety chain here and that's good. We see flowers um like three-dimensional flowers let's look for a mark don't see one let's see if there's a mark here no but I'm still gonna sell this and then I also I'm gonna put safety chain in my title because I think that that is a good feature okay this is Camco and it is a bookmark I've sold Camco but I'm trying to think was it pins something? I don't know. I'm going to put this in my maybe. I think I'm going to put this in my maybe. It is a Celtic cross. No, this can't be a bookmark. What is this? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to have to look into that further. Okay. I love my bug jewelry and this guy has big red cabochon eyes and it's the kind of red where it throws the light and it makes the inside of the glass or whatever just pop and that's lovely oh it's a bsk we love him he's a little beetle guy he's probably going into the collection and he's like going yay <laughs> like gideon says ta-da <laughs> ta-da you say gideon say ta-da you try yes say ta-da so we have that. Yes. All right. Should we do do this one still? Okay. We have this little little bag. <clears throat> the 
This one looks like a Cerakov. Looks a little dented. Little bit. Um, is it a Cerakov? Yes, it's marked Cerakovitry right up here. It can be a pendant or a brooch, but there's like a tiny dent thing going on here. So I will put that in the maybe. We have, what does this say? This says Dior. And I don't think that this is like actual Christian Dior. It's not made super nicely. Like it's just, you know, you can tell. So I'm going to put this one into craft. Ooh, I love this. I love, love, love this. This is so beautiful. Um, even the back is beautiful. Wow. So this is a pendant. Look at, I think this is all plastic, but it is gorgeous. It is a gorgeous pendant. It is well made. I like this a lot. So we can put this on a chain and sell this guy. Okay, we have a, a dragonfly with just a rhinestone for a head. Not marked, maybe. We have some like pewter, Oh, okay. This is like, um, pewter. Well, what are they? Cause one is a man and a woman. So I was going to say cherubs, but no, they're not angels. They're just naked people dancing. Okay. With ribbon. Um, it's Mark Da Vinci on the back. Yay. Da Vinci. So yes, we will sell that one. <clears throat> and then I've sold this one before. This is a J Ritter. This is a road runner with a faux turquoise eye, southwestern style. Yes. We have this. We saw this in the last video. This is the 1928 brooch. It is not marked 1928, but it has that in swirling, which is indicative of 1928 jewelry. We have, ooh, this is a an enameled cat pin with an iridescent gloss over it. So I am going to sell him. He is kind of cool. Um, and I feel like sometimes enameled jewelry is marked and I've seen it marked a lot of times Hedison or Hetty. Um, but this one is not. I'm still going to sell him though. All right, we have this pendant, which actually is stone. It's like a pretty orange and black striped stone, probably just jasper. And then not sterling silver, but really pretty. So I think I will sell that one. We have a cowboy hat with rhinestones. And it is just a pin. I don't know. Is this a tie tack? What do we think? What is this? Um, I think I will sell that one. Okay, we have this pendant. Oh, this one says KJL. This is a Kenneth J. Lane pendant. Really? Okay, we're going to sell that one. All right, we have this one, which says Jerry's, which you can hardly read, and it is a motor car. Yes, we have this blue rhinestone AB wreath. This will be a maybe. We have, what does this say? 20D and 1776. No idea. Maybe. Um, these are some chips pendant. Put that. Um, okay, we have a knight with a pearl head. <laughs> um, and it, oh, there's a mark on here. Okay, let's put those down. There's a mark. Oh, he's articulated. His body can wiggle. Okay, and the, oh, it's just a patent number. Okay, yep, we'll sell, we'll sell the night. That was kind of fun. This one is a JJ, little dragonfly JJ. We'll sell him. Oh, this one's cute. I can so see a girl rocking this. These are little pink rhinestone golf clubs. Okay, like like a little tie, like a little cravat with a little, oh, so cute. Okay, that will be a yes. All right, and these I was just going to put, we'll put those in the maybe. 
<clears throat> okay. What is this? I have Are these glass? Huh. Looks like a handmade piece. I used to make jewelry when I was like a teenager. I'm just gonna put these in craft because someone can craft with those. And then this has a spring ring. These are interesting beads. Look at these beads. They're like peach colored and they have like diamond shapes on them. Here's the spring ring. I'm gonna put this in the maybe. Ooh, this one is really cool and it's really old. Look at this. That has some good height to it. It has a box clasp. That does not say anything, but we are definitely selling this one. This one is old and really, really neat. Really neat. That, that textured flower, that is awesome. Okay, then this one also has a spring ring. Um, okay. It is multi-strand. <laughs> Um, okay, you guys get the gist. This might be sterling plated, possibly. I'm going to put this in the maybe. All right, we have a little bay filled with beautiful things. I see cinnabar. <coughs> okay, we have a cinnabar bangle. Oh, this one looks... Oh, this is knotted with, like, pink. That gives it a whole new feel. These are so delicately carved cinnabar beads. And then, oh, look at the clasp. That is nice. Oh, love that. I think this one might be the oldest piece. Oh, oh, okay, you guys. Look, I've not had a cinnabar piece like this. Look at it. Look at this. It is a seed bead cinnabar piece okay i think someone is really gonna like this this is this is fun wow 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 wow, wow. i want to put this um in a bag where is a bag just so it doesn't get tangled with anything um i think i've mentioned in another video that i usually after i sort through things i usually bag them right away um, but in this case, I'm just sorting with you guys, but that one I don't want to get tangled. So, okay, that was nice. Ooh, more bags. Wait, there's something else in here or did we go through this? Oh, that's the Gucci watch. There we go. I don't know if this is real, but these pieces <clears throat> are interchangeable on this face. Don't know how to do it. Is, does this one come off? Maybe a silver one is on there right now. Okay, I don't even know, but that's how that works. <clears throat> and we are gonna keep those together right there. No idea. <clears throat> okay. Oh, these are open back again. Lovely. They are not marked, but are they glass? No, they're not, but look at how beautiful they are. Those are beautiful. Lovely, I love these. These are a definite yes. Okay, we have that, that, this, this. Okay. This one says, what in the world? This one says, I'm really a mermaid. And it's a hinge clasp, so this is just fake. This is just for show. Little toggle, which is weird. Not marked, but I think someone like on Pinterest scrolling through that thinks that they have mermaid vibes <laughs> are gonna be like, yes, that's mine, I need that. So we're gonna say yes. This is gorgeous. Oh, okay, this is a um, Liz Claiborne. It's marked Elsie on the back. Oh, so beautiful and sparkly. Love that. 
what is in this box. Okay, Badge of Honor, Fire Department, Firefighter Brotherhood, Never Forget, Fire Rescue, and then it says 70 out of 200. Um, wow, okay, wonder, I wonder if this is valuable or anything like that. Badge of Honor, I'm going to have to Google Lens this to see. So I'll put this in the maybe because if, you know, if it's not collectible, if it's like a souvenir, then I probably won't sell that. Okay, we see stretch rings in here. Stretch rings are comfortable for a lot of people. Like, I, like you know, stretch can go out pretty easily. And then this one has wear. So a lot of these are just going to go into craft. People can harvest the stones. Um... Yeah, okay, so that one will be craft. This one's nice though. Does it have good stretch? Yeah, this one actually has good stretch. It has southwestern, like, look to it. Faux stone, I think, but I could, I think I could sell that for $7.99 or more. Ooh, this one. Look at this um, lucite ring. This is a statement ring. Look at that. <laughs> and it's like a light mauve -y color and you can see see through it in some areas. See that? That one's fun. Yes. Okay, we have this one. The stretch is pretty good on it and I like that you can see through the rhinestones here. Really pretty colors again. Um, Are you marked? No, I would think that this would be Premier Designs or something, honestly. So I would think I will sell that one. <clears throat> Ooh, this one's lovely. This one looks very modern and trendy. Are you marked? I don't think so. Yeah, this one's like a size 8. This one I'm going to put in the maybe because it's not marked, so it might be harder to search and stand out. Ooh, look at these mother of pearl. Look, I love how it's tiled like that. Like I want, I want my whole bathroom to be like a mosaic of mother of pearl. <laughs> okay, this is marked RSC, and I love it. I'm in love. Okay. I don't really like wearing, even though this fits, I feel like my finger is shaped in such a way where it like cuts off blood supply easily. Like, see? <laughs> so like I can't wear um, pointer finger rings. But yeah, I really like that one. Oh, this one's lovely. That color of the stone. Oh my, okay, are you marked? It might have been marked something that might have worn off. All right, let's see, let's test. We have my Presidium. Oh, it's just testing as glass, but I don't care. This is beautiful. It's a vintage, beautiful, beautiful ring. It could be a men's ring, because I think this is like a nine, maybe? Oh, a 10? Yeah, lovely. Okay, we have this stretch. The stretch is kind of weird. It has a giant green stone, rhinestone. <clears throat> um, not marked. That is, that is something though. If this wasn't stretch, I definitely would sell it. This is a statement ring for sure. Put that in craft. <clears throat> All right, we have this stretch. There is some silver tone loss, but the stretch is really nice and it feels like it's nicely made but <clears throat> nope no mark okay craft here is an adjustable cocktail ring there's some wear and are you marked no I'm gonna put this in maybe oh no I'm not there there's some scratching to the even to the pearls so the coating is coming off the pearls okay and then we have this tiger's eye ring. 
and it is marked what are you marked 18 K L A G E so it is or is it H G E well anyways it's gold electroplated nonetheless not gold um, and you can even tell it's wearing but I'm gonna put this in maybe we'll see I'll look it up okay then we have Ooh, belt buckles. I'm wondering, I'm not really um, too familiar on selling belt buckles that look like this. I mean, I think I could sell these on their own. Wow. So anyways, I was saying that I think I could sell these bigger ones on their own. Um, I'm wondering if... There's some that are Bakelite. I'm smelling them all. Like this green. This one says Taiwan. This is a hair clip. Okay, there's just a lot of weird. And then this is a beaded collar, which is so lovely. And I have given these to my mom. But look at how lovely. And it has a little dangle on the back. Look at these dangle pearls. Yeah, the pearls have a lot of wear, but you can't really tell because it's just so old. Um, so beautiful. Okay, I'm going to maybe set that aside for my mom. Should we test some of these to see if they're Bakelite? Should I just... I'm like smelling them. They just smell old. I have never been able to smell Bakelite. Okay, I'll be back. Oh, never mind. My Simichrome is upstairs. Okay, so I'm not sure what to do with this. We're putting these all back in and we're doing the maybe. <laughs> maybe I'll just sell them all as a lot. The Bakelite ones though, I can try to test. Like maybe the green, maybe the black, maybe this color, maybe that one. I don't think it's the white ones, but yeah, that would be fun. Or maybe I could just put these up for auction and see what happens I don't even know but these I'm just putting in the maybe because that's something I'm gonna have to research some more all right we are going to grab oh my gosh another tray okay we have this tray more 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 there's the buttons like I was saying these actually do look like big light um yes so I'm going to move some of these. She gave me some like totally blinged out rhinestone, like Swarovski rhinestone glasses. These are by the brand Jimmy Crystal New York crystallized with Swarovskis. So we have those. Let me just dump that out. Okay. I see a bag. Okay, these are Irwin Pearl. Oh, and they are marked P-E-P -E and Irwin Pearl. Look at these. So beautiful. Oh, love, 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 love. Love, love, love. Okay. What is this? Ooh, this feels nice. What are you? Ooh, a Trifari. Look at this Trifari bib. And the gold tone is like so nice so nice this this one feels really nice okay that one is a yes i have some heavy glass pearls that are hand knotted are these the same no but i'm checking the clasp yeah this one says nine two five with a triangle or a z so this looks like it's a vermeil because it's gold with nine two five and you can just hear, they are heavy, they are lovely, these are quality and vintage, yes. Okay, we have, okay, this one also says 925 on the clasp. Look at these, these are also glass, and instead of being hand knotted, there is a spacer seed pearl. I'm sorry, not seed pearl, wow. Seed bead in between. These are lovely. Wow, love those. More. Oh, this has a long 
dangle pendant. Are you 925? Yes, it is 9. Wait, what does it say? It honestly says something else. What does it say? Oh, on the other side, it says, okay, on one side it says 925. On the other, it says 110FS. I don't know. Maybe that has something to do with the maker. But this is glass and lovely and sterling. And that is so fun. This little, like, drop, Y drop. Yeah, that one will catch someone's attention. That is lovely. <clears throat> okay, we have, look at how beautiful. Those are lovely vintage studs. Okay, what are you? Are these Avon? One of the backings on here has a dot. Oh no, 925N. So it's just an N. Is it an N? It says 925. So I'm going to check the other backing. Let's see. Yeah, the other backing I think is sterling. Okay, so it's 925 with, or it might be AV, but <clears throat> let me see if I can show you. I'm not sure if you guys can even see that really well. But, yeah. So let's see what stone this is. Because it is set in sterling silver. These do need to be cleaned. <clears throat> so, let me take a peek. Alright, this is going to topaz. So this is a blue topaz and then the little clear ones. Oh. are going to white topaz possibly so lovely 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 okay and this is the bracelet that goes with the clip-ons and this is interesting um there's a lot of wear but there's it's so interesting i don't even know like i like the pink and the green and then look at the wear on the back of this. This is just weird and interesting. I'm going to put this whole thing in maybe because I need to think about it some more. Okay, we have this. Might be sterling silver with the filigree. It's a little pin. Let's see if it's marked anywhere. It is not. Let me, let's do our little test over here. Okay, it is sterling. It is showing a bright blue. So this is a little sterling flower pin. Lovely. Okay. Next, we have this chain with a faux turquoise. I think this one would do well. And it's kind of heavy. Like a faux southwestern vintage bracelet. Yes! We have this. Ooh, I love this iridescent art glass. Look at this. That is lovely. Or ceramic beads? I'm not sure. One of those. And this might be sterling silver toggle with some crisp oh it is it's marked 925 very small right there and then purple crystals oh my gosh someone's gonna love that love love okay we have this and it says alpaca mexico oh i love this little flower okay it needs to be there there we go look at how sweet that is and it's like a raspberry reddish pink lovely yes <clears throat> all right we have these fish screwbacks see the little fish wow so cute are you marked oh it's marked it's marked 
Wow, I cannot even read it. Okay, it is marked M-E-T-Z-K-E. I'm going to look that up. Is that even a thing? All right, so I'm on here, and there's literally none for earrings, but there is napkin rings, pewter. It says, like, pewter napkin rings. There's a pewter crab pin. There's candle holders from 1974. There's a thimble holder. So uh, this is telling me that this is pewter and I'm definitely selling these. That's fun that that's signed. I've never heard of that before and probably could have <laughs> like the only earrings like that online. Oh, this is lovely. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, okay. These pearls, I just love these iridescent pearls. They're like grayish purple. Then it looks like some hematite. And then this is the, oh, it's a silpata. There's a big giant silpata mark. I thought that this was the mark right here. But on the other side, there is the silpata mark with another pearl. And then the toggle even has silpata. So this is a sterling silver, um, like their sterling silver findings and then genuine pearls and hematite and maybe carved cubed shell. Oh, we have a beautiful silpata piece. Yay. Okay, what is this? Is this another sterling? Yes, 925 modernist ring right there. Look at that. I feel like this should be signed by the artist. It's pretty cool. Maybe it is, I'm not sure, but that is pretty neat. Love that. <clears throat> okay. We have, this one is also marked 925 and look at this art glass. Oh, this is like an amber colored foil art glass. There's some crystals. This is all like liquid silver and then a big giant sterling silver clasp. Wow. Wow, 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 this is lovely. <gasps> lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, it looks like we have, oh, oh, this one says, oh, these are so pretty. These are sterling and they have something else. Oh, the letter A, so A925. And it's also marked 925 on this hook part. And then these, oh, they're so pretty. More things to test because there's marcasite and this royal blue stone that we want to know what this is. This cannot be glass, stop it. It's like not even moving. Wait, it's moving a little bit, moving a little. Okay, let's try from the back. <clears throat> It's just blue glass, really. Okay, so it's just showing up as glass, really? These are stunning. Okay, those are a yes. And then we have this, which says Avon, really? But it says BS925, really? Really? It says Avon BS925. And then it's also is it on a sterling chain? I don't know, but the, this pendant is sterling. So I'm thinking that these are just glass. Um, yeah. Oh, wait. Nope, it, I think it's onyx, actually. The black is onyx, and the white... The white might be CZs. They're very, very sparkly. So yes, that is a yes. Okay, we have this chain that says Italy and it says 925. This is a nice little, little chain. I like that. I will put that with some chains. <coughs> okay, we have, oh my word. <gasps> Oh, this is gorgeous. Okay, let's just let's just look for any markings. 
it definitely looks like Black Hills. All right, let me show you this stone. It's changing from like green to purple to blue, and then it has the the rose gold leaf and the gold tone leaf, and this is probably sterling silver. Or when I see that, I think of the Black Hills Gold um, brand. Oh, there it is, right there. It says C Co Sterling 12K. Wow, uh, that little marquee stone is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Okay, this is lovely. I love that. That and when wow. I don't even have to tell you. We already know that is a yes. <clears throat> Okay, we have these turquoise chunks and it's Mark 925 on these lever backs. We have little onyx bears 925. We have anything else? Oh, we have these pearls that say Wow, well, there's a lot of numbers on there. <laughs> they say something, probably 925 and the maker. And we have, you guys, we have this like Buddha, oh, 925 LAA, look at this guy, little, little guy, and it is a charm or a bead, and then it says it on the side right there. So we have that one, we have, let's see, does this say anything? have this faux turquoise thing that <clears throat> I don't know pendant oh and then we have wow this one is a cross that looks like it's on a sterling chain the, the chain is very very tarnished let's test yeah I'm pretty sure that these are CZ's as well <clears throat> on this beautiful cross a oh, lovely lovely little cross Okay, so we have all of those, and then we have this charm bracelet that has a shoe, a heart, a mom, and a star. And a mother and a child. And then this is marked 925 on the clasp and right here. So we can sell that one. Aw, that's so nice for Mother's Day. Today's Mother's Day, so that's really nice. Um, we have this sterling chain with little tiny turquoise, but one of the turquoise beads is broken. Um, so I'm going to put this with my... Maybe just because I'm probably going to um, scrap it for um, sterling scrap. Then we have this, which is like etched, scrolling, probably like maybe a men's ring. It is marked 925. And then we have the buttons that my children were all playing with. And we have a bangle. What are you? Oh, this one's marked. This one's marked Monet. So we, we have another Monet bangle right here. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Whoop. She did say that she had some like um, jewelry bags, <clears throat> like craft jewelry bags or something. And I was like, I'll go through those. So we're going to see what is in those. Does this go with this? Yes. Okay. So Gordon's Jewelers with something in here. I don't know. All right. <clears throat> so we have these bangles. They definitely look vintage. Um, they have like really rough edges, but they're fun. I'm probably going to put them into craft though. Okay. We have, oh, this is a celluloid and it says, this is gold filled. There's a little ladybug, a little celluloid. Um, brooch, yes. So that one was in, <laughs> that one was a nice one. Okay, we have this. Okay, so we have this bracelet. 
it was a stretch bracelet and has the most gorgeous beads but the stretch broke the gorgeous beads though like, I mean like look I just want to look at them all day I kind of want to force Serafina to make me something out of these because I bought her a bunch of jewelry making supplies <laughs> because she had shown like the tiniest little bit of interest in jewelry making so I was like buy all the supplies <laughs> so then I was like you know what you could make for Mother's Day <laughs> Um, okay, anyways, we're gonna leave those right there because I kind of really want <laughs> her to make me some, make me something. Okay, we have this white acrylic vintage hin hinge bangle, and I really do like this. This is fun. I'm gonna sell that one. We have this crazy one. I'm gonna put that one in craft. We have this brooch pin that is. I don't know it's not like super high quality or anything and I don't know like the thing I'm not understanding is this back so this is what the back looks like I'm putting this in the maybe I have no idea <laughs> I don't know if it's really new or what okay we have this that's broken but it's lovely I can see someone crafting with this it's a rhinestone flower that used to be a brooch okay we have this big bangle live laugh love um, I might google lens this <laughs> if this is like Betsy Johnson or something I will sell it but yeah big giant statement bangle um ooh. Okay, this is one of those where I'm like, I need to fix it. Oh, it's a Monet. It needs to be fixed. This is like really beautiful. And it, you can see through it. Look at that. This is little glass pieces and it's a pendant. Just missing that rhinestone in the middle. We, we need to find, we are going to harvest. I don't even care if I'm harvesting something from here, like this one right here. <laughs> that, that rhinestone is gonna go right in there, but this is beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna put that in the yes. Okay, we have impulse studs. What? Is there actually alcohol in here? Crown Royal, let's see, <laughs> what does this say? Uh, is there actually stuff in here? No, it's just, okay, no, I don't think so. So, I have no idea. Is this vintage? I think I'm just gonna put it in craft. Okay, we have this brooch, which is pretty. And I think this is more modern though. Put that in the maybe. We have the peacock, no, it's not even a peacock. It is a spray of flowers or something. Put that in the maybe. Okay, we have this big statement paisley looking thing. I will sell that one. <coughs> we have a zigzag. That's going in maybe because a lot of those brooches are going into a brooch lot. Okay, this one says club success success club club success and it has this little thing for charms or something on the bottom I'm putting this in the maybe <laughs> no idea I don't even know if that's a thing ooh ooh oh this is a handmade hot piece of mess <laughs> like this is knitted yarn this is a very beautiful tassel okay this is yeah craft okay this one looks like a bsk are you nope this is a jj there's rhinestones and a woven leaf yes what is this this is another glued craft piece um broken mm, no idea and we have one of those. Oh, it's missing one. You know those smiley face with the little rhinestone eyeballs? It's missing one. Okay, we are going to put that into craft. Here is a 
guitar, but it has a lot of wear. Craft. I see this, and I s oh wait, what? What? Oh, it's a bird painted stone egg. I am going to keep this all day. I love hand painted eggs. Okay. He's going to go by his cloisonne egg family right there. There you go. All right. That was lovely. Okay. We have these funky earrings that are broken. We have an Elvis. Wow. And it says B E. 77 we I don't even know we're putting that right here that might be something oh this is a fun artisan piece I like those colors it is a brooch and someone made this this is nice that is going to be a yes okay craft oh this is one of those that have earrings okay what is it Wow, I can barely read it. I don't know, but it has, okay, so look. Sometimes they do these things where they make trinket boxes and like this would be the lid, like pewter tr trinket boxes. We will see, but this could be a brooch and then you take out these little birds and their earrings. So I will set that right here. Okay, we have these. I'm probably gonna sell these. Look at these earrings. Whoa, yes. Oh, I love this. Look at this earring. I wanna find the other one. Look at this purple rhinestone glorious thing. Okay, where's the other one? Oh, I like these. These are some screw backs. Um, look at how fun that is. So we have one, we have two. Yay, those are fun. Those are super fun. Okay, yes. <coughs> Ooh, it's missing two purple baguettes. Oh, bummer. Bummer. Look at how beautiful this little bow is. Okay, I'm gonna put that right there. <laughs> wait, no, that, that can't be. Oh, wait, wait, here we go. So this is broken. But this is patented. It is a Les Bernard. Where is it? Where We need to fix this ASAP. We need to fix this. Where's the other backing? Oh, oh, here's the other one, but it's broken. Where, of the purple. Stop. Okay, we can't have all the broken pieces. Okay, this one has some wear. It is a Don Lynn. I'm just gonna put this in craft. This one's going in craft. There's a lot of wear. <coughs> okay, this one is missing. Put that in craft. Craft. Where is the other Les Bernard? We need to find you. All right. I'm going to come back when I find some things to show you guys. Okay. Okay. I started, sorted out the two bags and I pulled out some of the interesting things to show you out of those like craft bags that are some things maybe you would want to look out for in like crafter bags or things like this. These are the house pins by Lucinda. She is known for her house pins and they are marked on the back. You can either get a bunch of these and lot them up for a better price. Um, people do collect these. <laughs> these are fun. I have sold these individually before, so I'm going to be selling this one. We have this copper enamel. I love these. This is like a wolf or a dog going to sell that one we have these are super funky don't even know what to think about these so these are going in the maybe these are clip-ons um but they are I don't even know can you <laughs> they're definite statement earrings so we're feels like dyed wood or something we're gonna put those in the maybe um 
<clears throat> this is, I believe, a J. Crew piece, but it is not marked. But I'm thinking it is because J. Crew sometimes has just the crystal hang tag, and then they also have this like life saver um, clasp. I will Google this to confirm, but it is really nice quality. I'm going to sell this no matter what. It is lovely. We have a bunch of watches. Oh, this is a maybe. It's vintage with the barrel clasp. They are hand knotted green lucite beads. So I'm not completely sold, but we'll see. Okay, we have, oh, this Kramer earring. I'm so sad. Look at it. It is gorgeous, but there's only one. So we're gonna put that in craft. So sad. Um, we have this brooch. I actually really like it. It's made out of coconut and maybe wood. So this is actually a dangle brooch. So fun. That is a yes. We have this fun pendant. Not marked, but definitely vintage uh, 60s or 70s. And yeah, not marked at all, but definitely selling that one. This one I think is, yep, it is marked. So I like the tassel, the chain tassel. And then when you look on the hook right here, you don't see anything, but it's actually on the inside marked. And this one is marked Trifari. So this was a nice little Trifari tassel necklace. Along with the tassels, this one's not marked, but it is a gold tone with orbs. <laughs> Tassel necklace, vintage, yes. We have these Monet clip-ons. These are maybe because because I need to clean them up. So maybe, all right, we have more watch type things. This one, are these are genuine pearls, charm bracelet, hearts. So yeah, lovely vintage little charm neck bracelet, sorry, bracelet. These look like onyx or glass, not marked, but these are really lovely little black cabochons for this bracelet. That is a yes. I love this, it's stretched though. But these um, are glass, faceted glass, crystals. There's some bonus here. Um, some of them have like AB coating. They're just so, it's just really pretty and the stretch is still really good. So I'm on the fence with this. This is gonna be a maybe. There's this one. This is lovely, not marked. There's some wear. So this might go on my brooch lot. Um, okay, do you guys wanna see some of these? This one is 120th, 12K gold filled. Look at how beautiful these little drops are. Oh my gosh. Okay. So we're going to test them right here. Okay, these are some CZs. Lovely. Love, love, love. I'm going to put them right there because they are so small. We have this bow choker. This is a Richelieu or Richelieu, but look at that beautiful glass blue cabochon oh my gosh love this how is this in the little craft bag love that that one is a definite yes these look sterling don't they i don't think they're marked but these hoopies look sterling so we are going to see if they are this oh this one is also marked what is it marked it is marked 14k G P. So gold plated. Look at this. It's a little flower with like this like fan or umbrella thing hanging down. So lovely. Yes. These are fun. They're just enamel on metal. Statement earrings. Yes. We have this is a gold filled and onyx pendant. Really sweet. Nice detail. Yes, we have these clip-ons, which have some wear, but they are rhinestone clip-ons that are actually pretty interesting. They are diamond shapes. So yes, we have this that also looks like the Black Hills 
gold with the different colors. Not marked, but I definitely think I'm going to sell this no matter what. This is lovely. Like a little rose gold flower. Not marked again, but an enamel pansy brooch. Yes. We have these. These actually do look gold. Honestly, I would not be surprised if they're gold or gold plated. These are some screwbacks. So older. Lovely. Yes. We have this ring here. It is a pink marquee and it is marked. There's an S on one side and then 925 in there. Let's see what this pink stone is. It is just glass, <clears throat> but it's very, very beautiful. Love that. That is a yes. Okay, oh, oh, I found, I found this found the Les Bernard. Ha ha ha. Yes, Les Bernard is a brand to look out for, a bolo brand, but I'm going to have to fix this. <clears throat> I couldn't believe it was in there. Yay! So we have a match. So this is, I don't know, glass, but I'm just really happy to have these. So we'll put those in a bag together. These are some sodalite vintage like post, but it has a little clip. So we're going to sell those. These look like sterling. We'll test those. This looks like sterling with genuine pearl and like smoky quartz. Test that. Test that. <clears throat> this is a maybe, but look at this clasp. So old with these like rhinestones. Uh, I think I will sell it. It is, it is older than a lot of rhinestone bracelets. Okay. Glass. Look at how fun these glass ones are. Clip like blue and black. Yes, very like modernist. We have Elvis, maybe. We have these clippies that are just plastic, maybe. Another watch. We have these, maybe. This is an Avon pendant that I like. That will be a yes. I am not even sure about this. This is marked E-I-N-C or something like that. It is some nails and a wreath. So maybe like Jesus and Christmas or something like that. So that one will be a maybe. Maybe. Oh, these are 1928. Oh, look at it. And again, they're not marked. They're just, they just have the swirling on the back. But these are some black cauchons. Dun, da, da. We love that. Yay. <clears throat> okay. Oh, we have this. This feels like a nice chain vintage piece. Nice bracelet. Look at that. Lovely. Oh, I'm still wearing the ring. So that one is a yes. You guys, we still have one more tray after this. So <laughs> watch. These tested as garnet. So I'm thinking they're garnet and sterling silver studs. Put those over here. We have these. Oh, this is going into craft. It's broken. Um, we have... These, these are studs, but they're clips. So someone is going to love these if they cannot wear pierced earrings. These could be just so lovely. So those I said yes. These are some green and red glass crystal. I have some like, I have a bunch of glass earrings upstairs. I'm probably gonna lock a bunch up. Then we have this ring, this one. Um, is marked where oh 14k gold filled it has a tiny little stone let's see is it a diamond no it's just uh... okay it's yelling at me okay i don't even know i'm gonna put this in maybe because i might scrap that we have these that might be something so, let's see. Yeah, these are just glass. I'll put these in maybe. We have this slider, which says a bunch of like fearless things. But I think it's really nice. I love these slider bracelets. So this will be a yes. And a, bu a bunch of cufflinks and, and tux buttons. And they are marked Pioneer. 
So this is like a whole set for like a wedding. And yeah, I will sell that. We have this lovely thing. Isn't that pretty? I don't think it's marked, but I don't even care. It is gorgeous. So we'll sell that one. And then I have no idea what this is. It says my myland Mysland. No idea. Maybe it was like a hippie concert or something. <laughs> and then it just says 406 on the back. All right. Let's look at these watches. Okay, we have a cute Aldo watch. These probably all need batteries, but it's like a leopard print. We have this one, which is Timex. Yes, the Timex is a vintage Timex is really good to sell. This one says Burberry. So, I don't know. If this is a Burberry watch, I will definitely be putting a battery in there. Um, this one says Gucci. I have a feeling, though, this is not authentic because it is oxidizing a little bit. But I will see what... I don't know. We'll look into it. I thought this one was cool. Look at... Uh, it's like a bracelet and a secret watch. It is by the brand Can Do. And then look at this telephone. Telephone thing. Um, it says quartz water resistant, but isn't that fun? And then we have St. Martin. Okay, so we have all those not really knowledgeable. We have this cloisonne wear. Oh, lovely butterfly. So that will be a yes. Uh, some bits and bobs. Okay, ooh, let's look at stick pins. Ooh. Okay, I do like listing stick pins. They are so easy. Oh, we have a little opal like kangaroo or faux opal. <laughs> it is so, so cute. Look at this little, look at him. That one I will list. He is adorable. All right, we have an arrow. Seeing if there's any marks. Yes, this one has a mark. And I cannot really read it. It is printed really oddly. Okay, and it's a little rusty. Okay, we're just going to put that in craft. We have, oh, a dangling pig. A little tangle pig. See him? He is so stinking adorable. Do we need him? We might sell him. Okay, we have a heart. And we have this thing. I've seen a lot of, like, pendants that look similar. We have, ooh, look at this green enamel butterfly and rhinestones. Ooh, this one is nice. We are selling him. That one's, that one's a yes. <clears throat> so a lot of these are maybe. Okay, this one, let's see. This one looks nice. Oh, what? This is a Panetta. Oh, Panetta is a bolo. Look at this is a Panetta, oh, a Panetta stick pin. Wow, that's amazing. That is amazing, that is incredible. That one is a yes. All right, we have this enamel stick pin, that one's lovely. Peach and seafoam green, lovely, lovely, yes. And this one looks Avon, <laughs> but I don't know. It's like a little um, sand dollar. So these are my mate. Maybe he's right here. And I'll put that over there. Okay, so this is our last tray, I believe. <laughs> I might find something just randomly, but um, yeah, we had a bunch of trees. So yeah, let's take a look at this tray. This one has some faux pearl, glass faux pearl um, baubles, not marked, more modern. This one will be a maybe. Ooh, look at this piece. Wow, look at this. This is a modernist artisan torque pendant thing. This is, this is heavy duty. Okay, we're gonna wear this. This is fun. There we go. I'm wearing this right now. Maybe I will keep this for a little bit. Okay, we have a bangle, not marked, craft. Oh, we have the Italian charm. 
and it looks like R, rainbow, baby, apple. So yeah, I do sell these. So we have a charm somewhere over here. I'll put that with the charm. Okay, we have this one that is like a very deep purple um, modern costume piece. This one I'm going to put into craft. What is this? <gasps> what is this? Wow, this is moonstone and something. <laughs> Let's see. This one's showing up as glass. It might be quartz. But this one is definitely moonstone. Yeah, this one might be a quartz as well. But look at this. Wow, stunning. I'm not sure if it's sterling or not, or maybe like an 800 silver or alpaca silver or something. But wow, that is gorgeous. Okay, we have this like cha-cha modern thing. It has really pretty pastel colors. Um, maybe, put that in maybe. Ooh, this is lovely. This is like dyed bone. But this is really neat. Look at this. Wow. That is really, really nice. Like a tribal or ethnic. Wow. I think this is dyed bone and then metal. Interesting. That one is a definite yes. So fun. Okay. Yeah. Oh, a snake cuff. Interesting. With rhinestones. Okay, we're going to sell that one. We have, this is a dyed howlite. Oh, this layered look though. That looks nice. That looks really nice. Um, yeah, it feels nice as well. Okay, that one is going to be a yes. <clears throat> what are you? Oh, it is a little tassel. Ooh, 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 there's something. Okay, this one is Simply Vera by Vera Wang. It has a little crystal. Let me show you guys up close. Don't mind my dirty fingers from sorting all that jewelry but it basically looks like an S and a dash. Basically looks like a dash, but it has this hexagon. Sometimes I will sell this. This is, this is nice. I do like this little dangle and it's like a bronzy color. <clears throat> okay. We have some, um, dragonflies to make like a little wrap around thing. Let's see if I can wrap this. There we go. Now it's, well, let's see. I don't even know. How do we make this work? It does something. Maybe, maybe in other people it'd go up higher. I don't know. Interesting. Okay. We have this one that is all symbols that I don't know, like Arabic or something. Maybe a prayer, maybe something. No idea. <laughs> then we have this bangle here. No marks. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at this. Look at these little crystals in there. Are you marked? I don't see a mark. Huh. This will be a maybe. And then we have, oh, we have these sweet little birds. Was it a tie tack? Oh, this one's also marked. Panetta. Okay, Panetta. Panetta is a bolo. Look at his eyes. One is blue, one is purple. Oh, no, one is red. And then there's like a little purple right here. So red and blue and lovely and gorgeous. Okay, I think that's it, you guys. Wow. All right, you guys, did you stick with me throughout the entire 
haul. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm wearing my lovely thing. <laughs> isn't that isn't that great? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm like encrusted in jewelry now. But that was so much fun. Ah, oh, I've I've been really having a lot of fun with hybrid auctions and just like buying out somebody's collection. Like, isn't that so fun? That is just so much fun. I'm I'm all about that. That is great. Um, yeah, so if you like these kind of videos, make sure you've hit that thumbs up button. It really helps my channel um, reach more viewers, uh, push me a little bit further into the jewelry reselling community. And hello, welcome to all of my new subscribers. Yay. Make sure you guys have checked out the Facebook group page. We are helping each other. One of my roles is help us help you. So do your best to describe and um, photograph your item that you need help with, your jewelry piece that you need help with, clear pictures, your description, hot, cold, um, lightweight, etc. Um, and then some things that you know about it, like my grandma, my grandmother bought this in the 1940s or something along those lines. Anything that you know about it, um, anything that you've researched about it already. And then maybe people can help you from there. And yes, we have the, um, some other files that are very helpful as well. So <clears throat> yeah, go ahead and, um, leave me a comment down below. What was your biggest wow piece? What was your favorite piece? Let me know some of the things that I didn't know. You know, I'm learning as well, you guys. And yeah, make sure you guys are out there thrifting so you can live generously. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys. Thank you.